Hello everybody, welcome to Mega Truck Mini Access Play of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Yes! I'm like so happy. So, so, so happy to be recording this game. Just because I love it. It may be difficult at times for me to make time to record this. Now, to record this Let's Play, I'm pushing aside Wind Waker to record this let's play because I think this let's play wouldn't take as long but it's taking quite a while and the reason I yeah I think I've already explained this in a previous ep episode but Wind Waker there's just one part of it that gets really annoying now I'm not gonna say it for those of you who do not know what I'm talking about for those of you who do not do know what I'm talking about it's a pain it is that one part in the game. Ugh. Sorry. I'm more of a mountainous person. I don't. I'm not a fan in the beach. A fan of the beach. I'm more of a fan of mountains and such. Which is kind of why I'm glad to live on one. Though we. Do occasionally, co occasionally, true story. We do occasionally get bears who trip over our trash cans and like go through our trash. It's true, but currently we have. I have a little sister who has lots of stinky diapers, so I I'm pretty sure the bears don't want to sniff our trash. So, yay! We have a bear protector. Maybe it's just because the trash smells so bad, but I don't think bears have come recently to go through our trash. Which is good. Because when the bears do come, like, my parents flip out. It's strange. Now, onward! For some reason, I'm, like, getting super, super distracted. My attention span is, like, running out, and I, like, go on panic mode. Or delay so I don't have to do a boss without a fairy but it, currently I don't have a fairy so I'm going to die it was nice knowing you guys should I have another brownie <laughs> Meh, I don't want to eat them all as I said like after I make something that's super delicious I kind of want to eat it all and if I eat it all, then people won't know it existed. But then again, I've already stated the fact that I was cooking earlier. So then, people will know. Oh. Okay, creepy. Basically, what I was just speaking about was my plan to come off clean and say I didn't eat the brownies and some mysterious mummy had come from Egypt to eat my cooking. And then... Actually, no. I was going to say I hadn't cooked anything at all. <laughs> and then I would have eaten it all. And then... Actually, no. Quite a... I think, like... Two. And then I have YouTube. Which I've already admitted where I made the brownies. And then, and then like, someone saw me cooking and I was like, No! I can't eat all these brownies without... It. I have witnesses. I can't... Commit the crime of eating all those brownies. Is it a crime to eat brownies if they're meant for someone else? But you are the one who made them. Hmm. Sorry, I'm random fudge. I really want a brownie. I'll be quiet now. My brownie rant is like going to last for quite a few episodes. want a glowing forehead. This is why the bow and arrow are helpful, because I think you guys can already know how to fight this guy. Pretty much the same way we fucked most of our enemies. Through making them fall in lava. Wait a minute, does the ground move here? 
Twilight Igniter the Fighters. Okay. Now let me just say, if you didn't have your shield right now, that's uh, the Hylanian shield, and you had the wooden shield, I think it would have instantly burned when you blew fire on it. So that way you have to think about like not using your shields. But I'm glad I have this sh- eh, eh, doesn't really help, it doesn't really help if I'm talking. No, no, don't hit me. Turn, 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 turn. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. What do you want? Yeah, no. Let me get behind the columns. Columns are safe. Columns protect me. Columns protect me. Wait, where'd you go? Eh, eh, give me a bow and arrow, give me a bow and arrow. Ow. Yeah. Grab, 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 grab. Grab. Yay, and then we make him trip. And then we take off our uh, things, and then we let go. And then you have to run around. Eh, eh, d d d no, 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 there! I got it, I got it, I got it! Oh my gosh, that was just creepy that way it glitched. Now what you can do while he's getting up is that you can get ready to shoot. Then he will turn towards you, and then you can shoot. Do not click A, just pull, just get back as far as you can, then pull. Okay, I think we just need to do it one more time. Now. You know what, this boss is pretty easy than I thought it would be. I don't really do well on moving targets as well as I do standing still targets. Yeah, I got it. Please don't go through the wall, please don't go through the wall, thank you. Yeah! Come on, come on, die, 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 yeah! Oh my gosh. And like... 10 minutes, I took down the boss and did my random ranting. So I told you guys my brownie ranting would last for my day of recording, since uh, I don't really record Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess that often. As I said before, I'm limited on time that I can record here, because I have to record the Wii, and the Wii is in the living room. And yada yada. Take it, take it, take it. Minda, are you happy? Will you shut it, please? Somehow. Wait, I thought of something really good. Hee hee hee, well done. Now we have two fused shadows. Him, you know you've been very helpful uh, so far. So as a reward, I'll tell you an interesting story. Yay, love stories! Is it the one where Navi dies? I love that story. Sorry, my my hatred for Navi will not die for quite some time. Now, as we progress through the game, we will hear Minda's story and her opinions and like how she came to come to our how she chose us why she's with us, all sorts of stuff. We'll find out about her. Zet. That's the name of the king of darkness who ca cast this pile of shadow over your world. He's very strong. You won't, you would be nothing to him in your current state. But Zant will never be my king. I have nothing but scorn for his supposed strength. Not that your Zelda is much better. Okay. 
Minda. I know I hated Zelda and Orcarina of Time just because she was kind of annoying, but this one is completely different. Let's see. She's a lot nicer. She's more awesome. She's way, way, way more awesome. Like, you had to sneak through the castle to see her, kind of like you did in Orcarina of Time, which I thought is pretty cool. Thing is, we did this one as a wolf, and... Yeah, my random ranting does cost a lot of time for this LP. I'll try and find, like... I'll try and, like, do it without, uh, having people go, Click the button! Click the button! Click the button! Don't press my buttons. They're mine! It still appalls me that this world of light is controlled by that princess. A carefree youth, a life of luxury. How does that teach duty? Now, for those of you who have, like, seen those shows where they, like, show how difficult it can be being a wealthy person, where you have pretty much less, less freedom and your life is pretty much chosen for you. While well, as people who are more like me get to choose what they want to do. Ugh. While Zelda's kind of had this thrown on, thrown on her, and Minda's pretty much chosen to fight Zant instead of letting him step all over her. She thinks it's like the only path. But then if she lets Zant pretty much control her, I would be pretty upset. And I would also, I would take Minda aside and say that he is, he is terrible. But I guess I shouldn't begrudge her circumstances of her life. She didn't choose it after all. See? She didn't choose it. It was thrown at her. It wasn't her fault. It was her dad's fault. I don't think her dad's shown in this game. Okay, the King of Hyrule is shown in only like a few Legend of Zelda games. Usually it's Zelda in Legend of Zelda games. She's even in Majora's Mask. Believe it or not. She's not there at the beginning, but still. She's there. Then like a flashback. It shouldn't have got your circumstances, she didn't choose after all, and I would never wish harm on her. Yep. Not as long as I can get my- no, as long as I can get my hands on the fused shadows, I'll be just fine. Well, just one more left, shall we? <laughs> now, Fee from Skyward Sword is also kind of helpful. Though the robot there is... Oh, yay, Charlie! I totally forgot about you. I'm sorry, Charlie. Sorry, my... Eh, I don't know how it started, but... My friend named uh, his pieces of heart Davis. So then I thought, why didn't he name it Charlie? So then I thought, yay, I'm gonna name mine Charlie. And then the pieces of hearts are gonna be Davis, so... My friend's in your cat burger. Ugh, ugh. Um, what am I doing here? Ugh, my head aches. Well, pretty much I shot you in the air on the head with some arrows like three, four times. There were the times that I missed, but then again, I shot him in the head with bows and arrows. That's gotta hurt quite a lot. Now let's go to Minda. You want to go outside? Are you all done here? Now, there will be times when we get to see Minda's story as a flashback, and we get to, like, know her even better. You know how, like, Zelda had that flashback of the kingdom being taken over by those demon shadows? Yeah. It's kind of like that, but the flashback... Eh, eh, my controller nearly fell. There we go. Heroic Coco! I like the sound of that. North of here, across the plain, and past the Great Stone Bridge, 
in the lands guarded by the spirit Lineru, you shall find one who you seek. Yay! We get to find the other person. Uh, Elila, I think. Oh yeah. Before we continue, since something is like bothered Link, let me just say this. Once you see the Guardians once when they turn you human, after you being a wolf in the Twilight Zone, yeah, not Twilight Zone, the Twilight Realm. Once you've been a wolf for a while in the Twilight Realm, and the light spirits turn you back into a human. My warning for you guys, that's the only time where you see them. The only time you see, you see them, like when you go to see them. They're... There are exceptions to this, um, but I'll explain during the ending credits. I'll, ex I'll explain a lot of stuff during the ending credits. I need to make a list of stuff to explain. Uh, just so much stuff goes on in this game. I'm hoping my mic is recording me. I'm going to pause my recording and check. You know what? I'm just gonna finish this episode. Then I'm gonna check to see if my mic is recording me. One second. Okay. Now what you just heard was me tapping the mic to make sure it, um, my little green bar of my mic's volume was showing up and the game's volume was showing up. You see in the background the crickets are going off, so I'm assuming that I'm good to go, cause it seems to react to me, and I'm and I think that's good, cause right now the game has no volume, but the green bar is still going up and down due to the crickets and my talking. So, a little lesson: crickets are not very loud. They, they aren't. They're like barely a light green in my bar. Dark green being like the quietest it can be. It's light green. Like super low light green. Okay. <laughs> Back to the game. With random stuff. And yay! Colin's feeling better. The bratty little kid. He'll, he'll get better as, as he matures, hopefully. Okay. Lila, Lila. I I think that's how you say your name. Elia. Uh, I I think. Okay, fine, Elia. Those monsters left me with the other kids. They must have taken her somewhere else. Maybe because she was older. Whenever I thought I couldn't go on, I would think of you and Elia. No, Elia is just gonna stick in my brain. It's already there, Ela, Ela. Is that how you- is it like Laya? Laya? Like Llama Laya? Why do they do that? It's so confusing! How do you pronounce her name? Okay, so I would think of you and Ella as I- and hold on Coco. Or comma Coco. Dot dot dot. See? I'm fine now. I think dot 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 in Morse code is S. Sorry, I'm trying to learn Morse code, so. Remember what I told you back in Orden, Coco? When I grow up, I'm gonna be just like you. But back then, you didn't know I was a super brave knight who was super awesome with a super awesome sidekick that can turn me into a wolf. Or who rides on me while I turn into a wolf. Oh well. <laughs> She's still pretty awesome and a lot more helpful than Navi. I, I, I still think Mind is more helpful than Navi. There are points where I think Minda, have you sided with Navi? So you don't okay, so you don't have to worry about me anymore, go help Allah. 
Leave the children to me. I will watch over them, I swear it. Now, since he says it, I'm... What gender is that person? The long hair and the robe are kind of throwing me off. I think it's a dude because, like, the manly scars. Do not let their fates trouble you. Go to those who need you. Okay, I I just have to stop talking and just do this. In high rule, countless tales are told by of the ancient hero and your deeds bring them all to mind. I was that ancient hero. May the graces of the great goddesses who shaped high rule bear you on your way. I, I kind of think Cole and the little baby kid don't appreciate me enough to bow. Bow to me, my loyal subjects. I am your ruler! No, I'm not. I'm just a random person standing. Oh, yay, now we can get bombs. Okay. Now, the little baby guy was baby kid, which he was on the sign. The little baby kid. Now, what gender are you? Are you a dude? Or you're wearing like a dress thing and you have long hair. What gender is he? Uh, oh, the Gorons are here and helping out. And then there's a hot springs over somewhere up there. Now, if you go to the Gorons, they'll toss you up instead of you having to turn into a wolf and like jumping all around like crazy. Now you can go in here and get the stuff. See? Bombs. Hey now, bud. How about this now? Yep, I finally got to manage my numbers together and opened up my shop. Well, sort of. I guess I've only got one type of bomb, but hey, there's more than one. That's uh, one more than none, right? If only my storehouse had survived. I didn't, whatever it is, I didn't do it. I also have to get a shirt that says that my brother has one. <laughs> Lucky. Hey, Vayne, here's by the We got, we, I'll add more types as we go for now. Have yourself look and see. Now, if you guys see, those uh, two are the other two I talked about. One is the one that can go underwater. One's the one that can walk on its own. And then this is the ordinary one. Are you? Give me a bomb bag. Give me a bomb bag. Oh yeah. I'm your favorite customer, aren't I? Did you fill the bomb bag with? Meh. Wrong one. You f yeah. Now you can have the. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need that. Now, um, I was kind of thinking of using the bombs and blowing up the store, but then again, I wouldn't be able to get the other bombs that this place provides. Uh, should, should I do? Should I go there or should I go? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go up here. Now, the, if you talk to the Gorons, they'll let you ride on top of them. Now if you just click forward, you can, uh, I thought I was just going to fall off backwards then, there, that is a scary thought. Oh, uh, see, this is the storehouse. Whatever it is, I didn't do it. I didn't do anything. You can't prove it. You can't prove, I recorded it. Dang it, they can prove it. Dang it. I bet you guys were like shouting at the screen, but you recorded it. Of course you did it. We know you did it. Dang it! You guys all know. You guys all know. Dang it. Wait. Just because I re Nah, I recorded it, and I don't know how to edit stuff out, so... Oh, well, uh... uh my editor is, like, not YouTube-friendly. So... <gasps> Hot springs! I've never been into a hot springs. The Gorons seem to like it though, and the baby Goron actually sits on a rock so he doesn't drown. Ah, good warm soak, just, just about my best need before the evening falls, brother. 
I sell stuff across the bomb shop at night. I hope you see. I hope to see you there, brother. I love the Gorons. They call each other brother, and like, I guess if Link was a girl, they'd call him sister. Yay, Epona. Basically, so I don't have to walk all around. I can just ride my horse. Save energy. See, right here, that's where the little Goron guy sells stuff at night. I don't know I don't know how he doesn't like get in trouble with his Goron parents, but apparently he doesn't. Do Gorons just fall out of the volcano at random? Because they don't seem to get burned. Now, I'm just going to be awesome and do something pretty awesome. Can I do this? No, I'm just going to take it at a slow pace. Ta-da! I was still going to have like a pony just go and like me uh, trailing destruction all behind, all around and behind me. Now, the cool thing about this is there are chickens here. So, since my name is Coco and I'm Cuckoo for <laughs> chickens, I hope you're going to have fun. Yeah, got it. Now you go over here. The cool thing about the chickens is if you can get it to the high platform, you can jump off and fly pretty much all over town. Is there any? Eh! My computer is glitching again. See, the underwater bombs are helpful for wa rocks that are underwater. Bombs can't go underwater because then you won't. Eh! Eh! And this is like the only way, I think this is one of the only fountains where you can get above and behind all these rocks and stuff to the shrine. Behind it. Whee! Fly, chicken, fly! Now, how to get the chickens up there? Oh yeah, I know. Basically, what you do, I I'm just going to do this quick and then I'm going to end the episode. You go up here. And then you fly over here. Luckily, if you don't get it right, like in the right angle, you won't like fall off. One of the problems with being a wolf was getting that one little jump right, because if you didn't get it right, then you would probably pretty much fall to your doom. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can get over to that corner. Eh, eh, I, I went too far. Eh, 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 make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, chicken, fly, flap those wings. This chicken really doesn't like me, does it? Now, you just go away, way up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, have you guys noticed there are lookouts up here looking out for the black beasts? Now, if you come here, eventually. Ooh! Ooh! I never knew this was here before. Can I make it? 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 Ah! I can't. Okay. Eee! Eee! I'm flying! You can pretty much fly all the way across the town, and it's pretty fun. I would recommend doing it at least once. Okay, sorry for abusing you, poor chicken. Now, in the next episode, we will go and try to find Illa. Lila. Laya? I don't know how to pronounce her name. Oh dear. Um, I happen to know where she is, if I can remember how to get to her correctly. Oh yeah. Now, once I save Ila or Lila, I will try and get the golden bugs. They are handy if you want to have a bigger wallet. <laughs> I want to do a complete let's play of the game, so I'll try and see if I can get 
all the bugs while recording. Like, you go just go and explore the fields, and you'll find quite a few bugs there. Now, the rules for the bugs. When you go through an area, I would recommend looking extra hard for bugs if you don't want to go to that area again. Now, for here, I will have to come back here to get bombs and stuff. So, I guess if you guys want, you guys can come here later to get bombs and stuff. Now, for things that are a little more trickier to find, like places where you have to pay a fee, there are these kind of places. Where you have to pay to get to that place. Now, if you have to do it repeatedly, it can be a pain. It can be a major pain on your wallet and for your person. So my recommendation just once you go through an area try and get all the golden bugs in that area now for me for the purposes of the let's play I will not go after the bugs during videos I will make a bonus video where I get all the bugs now for those of you who want to collect the bugs periodically during the video I will tell you or show you where you can find the bugs and then I will ignore the bugs and then I will get the, to there later so I can get the bugs in the bonus video. Does that make sense? So in the next video I will show you guys the bugs in this area. Then I will go and try and find Elila if I can remember the correct way to go. I'll probably have to check the map. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!